Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So right now I am over at Mariah Island. So I just got the boat over here. I am so keen to see some wombats because unfortunately when I went to Cradle Mountain, I didn't see any. So this is like a guaranteed trip to be able to see heaps of wildlife. So I'm gonna go and pick up my bike now and then we can go and explore the island. So my first stop is the Painted Cliffs, which you can only access at low tide. It is outside of two hours from high tide, so I think I should be okay to get through. Now, as much as I look like a total dork on a bike, I feel like this is the best way to get around Mariah Island just because there's so much to see. And if you were walking, it would just, you know, take hours and hours. So bike is the easiest way. And if you didn't watch my last video, unfortunately I stumped my toe going up of Mount Amos. So my foot's a little bit tender today. So I'm actually grateful that I'm not walking too much. Okay, so I almost came off my bike in the process, but I was just riding past this field and I just found a little wombat and he's so cute. <laughs> So I think I just found the best spot ever because I can already spot another little wombat and the lady, when I got off the boat, they actually did mention that there is some babies as well. So I'm hoping that I can come across a little wombat that has a little baby with her. But let's have a look at this little guy. So it's quite interesting to note that with wombats, the little babies actually walk underneath their tummies, which is really cute. So I don't think there is one here, but I'm going to keep searching, but it's so nice just to enjoy it. So I'm going to get my camera and get some really cool shots. I was supposed to be going to Port Arthur, but with my foot just not being 100% and I had a couple of big hikes planned there, I've decided just to jump straight down to Bruni Island. So I will check back in with you guys soon. So I'll be getting off of this boat and getting on another one, but it's such a cool area. I think I'm going to spend a couple of days there as well. Good morning guys. So I made it over to Bruni Island whilst it was a little bit stressful getting here just because it was about a two hour drive and I realized I was driving through Hobart at like peak hour traffic because not everyone's on holidays and I honestly forget that. So either way we got over to Bruni right in time. Mind you when I got off the barge I realized how low in fuel I was and I also have run out of like gas canisters for cooking. So I was like great job Sarah you're on an island with minimal shops 
and you're here for two days but that's fine like we can deal with all of those things and it's so worth it because it is absolutely stunning over here the weather is kind of a little bit temperamental and it is super windy so once again i need to invest in a microphone and i promise i will because there's nothing worse than like listening to videos with like a lot of like wind noise in it so i'll get that fixed up as soon as possible but either way i've got a few places that i want to tick off while i'm here including there is like the bruni bakery the lighthouse there is a spot called the arch and then i think there's a spot called like the neck game or something really odd like that so let's jump straight into it and i'll show you guys all of the best spots around here My first stop is the Bruni Baker, which I feel like is the most Instagrammable spot here in Bruni Island. So let's check this out. I'm pretty keen to get my hands on some bread and some cookies. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sad because they're out of Anzac biscuits, but that's okay. I've got my bread, so I'm super happy. officially concludes my trip over to Bruni. It was quite short and sweet, not quite what I expected, but in saying that the weather wasn't exactly in my favor whilst I was here. But if you are coming over, there is a little hike that you can do that goes out to the arch. And it's like a really cool, um, I guess like natural formation that's right on the beach there. So definitely add that to your list. But I am now going to be heading over to Queenstown. So I've got a fair bit of driving to do a few stop offs, but I'm gonna put all that into the next video. So thank you so much for watching already and following along with everything I've been doing here in Tasmania as well as the rest of my trips as well but make sure if you aren't already like and subscribe because I will be posting up a lot more videos within Tasmania I still have about a week and a half left here so I will see you guys all in the next video thanks so much for watching bye